Right, ladies and gentlemen, next to share with you all the story behind Pig B. Founder, Chief Executive Officer of Pig B, a groundbreaking technological innovation and to an everyday problem that is taxi hailing. He's example of modern day tech entrepreneurs. Please welcome Mr. Jeffrey Sulfur. So good morning everyone. Subha Udayasanak. Right, I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. I know you guys have been here for over six hours and I'm sure you are seeing the bed now, right? So I'm not going to waste any more time. If only I can get my slides up and I'll run this through very fast. Okay. I'm here to talk about lean technologies. You know, as a startup, we didn't have all the capital in the world. We had to do things in a lean way. So when we started building the PickMe platform, we thought of the simplest technologies, right? And that's, this is essentially the architecture that we put into production on our first version. As you know, there is a mobile, there's a passenger app and a driver app. And then of course, there's the web server uh, which ran pretty much some PHP scripts. And then we had a database that ran on MySQL. So these were just two to three servers, right? And when we launched, we had a huge demand for our service. And as you know, when you run on Apache, you really can't have a lot of concurrent users. And then we had to extend this as fast as we can to entertain all the passengers who opened our app, right? So I just want to show you this graph. When we started, our response time was about 400 to 500 milliseconds. The red line there is actually the growth in users. So as users kept increasing, we had a huge problem in our hand because our response rate was getting slower and slower. So we had to refactor our technology to make sure we can cater to the demand that was coming in. And we had to do a lot of refactoring. We had to relook at the architecture. And we had to make sure that we can cater to all the demand. And, and then, of course, we had some fantastic breakthroughs in technology that allowed us to serve a lot of the customers that came onto the PickMe platform. So from there onwards, from a typical LAMP stack, we moved over to some, some more technologies, actually. So we had to use, we had a lot of front-end technologies, as you can see, and then we had to use a lot of, a lot of programming languages. We were using, of course, we were using PHP, we were using Golang, uh, we were using Node and Java. Then on the database side, we had to use different databases to cater to different requirements of the platform. We used Mo MongoDB to store all our GIS points. We used MySQL for the transaction. We used Postgres to handle our G to, ha to compute our GIS. And then, of course, we are now starting to use Redis to give customers a better response. So with technology, with this platform, last year, we completed 10 million trips. And when you complete 10 million trips, when you analyze the data, you see wonderful things about the city of Colombo. You know, our data scientists crunch all this data to present to, to us, the management, on how the platform works. And I have a beautiful video that demonstrates how a typical day 
on the PickMe platform is. This video will show you all the points in the city of Colombo when people hail. If I, can hand, if I can have the video. So this video is a 24-hour video. Right at the bottom is the time. It's 2, 3 AM now. And as you can see, these yellow dots are, are showing you people hailing through the app. And as, as, this, as the sun rises, you will see a lot more lights coming up. And that's actually people hailing taxis to come to the city. And as the day goes by, people go to school. Uh, you know, uh, it's already noon. There's a lot more, there's no, lot more lights coming up. That shows that there's a lot of activities. People are getting into taxis, going from point A to point B. And as 3 o'clock comes, you know, the offices are closing down. The private sector closes down. People are now hailing a lot more, and they're getting back home. There's a lot of shopping happening. There's a lot of night activities happening. And at 8 PM, 9 PM, and that's how a typical day on a PickMe platform is. So it's a lot of activities that take place. If I can have my slide again. OK, we love, we love to work with technologies, right? And, and as you know, we have, a, we have a multinational company also competing with us. So we had to keep abreast with the best technologies in the world. So one of the key decisions we made is to move into something called Golang. Golang, for the people who don't know, is one of the fastest programming languages in the world now. Obviously, it's sponsored by Google. And we are proud to say that we are one of the largest implementation of Golang in Sri Lanka. Our core technology is now running on Golang. Second, we are also making huge initiatives and huge uh, discoveries through PostGIS. We are obviously a big customer of Google Maps for Google. But at the same time, we want to build our own GIS for Sri Lanka. Right? As you know, a lot of the addresses in Sri Lanka are not, are not mapped. And we want to create a platform where people like you can use our GIS to run your applications. And this is a big initiative that we are making to help the ecosystem, the tech ecosystem in Sri Lanka. Then, of course, we are also making huge strides in, 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 in databases like Redis to make sure that we can cater and give a better experience to our passengers and drivers. That being said, we need a lot of talent to work with us. And we are looking for talent to hire. If you think that you can contribute to our company, we love to hear from you. So I've pr I printed a careers email. If you think you can help us in any of these areas, or if you have any thoughts on, on our business, please let us know. Thank you very much. This is my email address. Feel free to drop me in, uh, any, any note or any, any ideas that you have. Thank you for staying up for me. Thank you. <laughs>